Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of my video series featuring Build the Millennium Falcon by Diogostini. Now in this episode I'm going to focus on issue 5 and issue 6 and as you can see I have the parts on the table here. Now the magazines, um, I'm gonna leave them out this time because I think I'm gonna focus on just talking about the parts in my future videos uh, and if there's anything of particular interest in the magazines, I'll be sure to also include those. Um, so yeah guys, I'm just gonna start by opening the uh, issue 5 bag and putting all the parts on the table and then afterwards we are going to also have a look at issue 6. So uh, just hang on while I take out all the parts and we'll have a closer look. Okay guys, so issue 5 is actually pretty simple in terms of the things you get with it. Um, first and foremost you get some hull plating here. And this is obviously the passageway that leads to the cockpit. It's slightly weathered as, you've, as we've seen it with other pieces, but it doesn't matter since I'm gonna repaint it. You can actually also test assemble this at this point, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna wait a bit with that uh, because I want to also get the interiors in place and all that before I do that. Uh, then we get these side panels for the interiors of the cockpit as well. And these are also going to need a bit of paint I think uh, but I don't have anything particularly planned right now so I'm just gonna figure that out later I think I'm gonna try and test the sample these as well in a moment then you also get the lighting panel for the back wall of the cockpit and it basically fits on the back side here I have the cockpit interior here and you can actually just attach it here with one fixing screw and it's uh, supposed to light through the back wall and give you this cool lighting feature there are two, uh, two fixing screws, but you actually only need one, so you get one in spare as well. And that's pretty cool, I think. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm just gonna quickly put on these uh, side panels here and uh, try and see if I can also attach the lighting panel. So uh, just give me one second. Okay guys, so that was pretty simple really. Still a bit of fiddly work because nothing is actually glued into place yet and I'm gonna wait doing that until some point in the future uh, because I am going to do some repainting and all that of this section here. Uh, but it's it's pretty cool and it's coming along nicely and uh, yeah, it looks, it looks nice I think. Now one thing I wanna do in this video as well is to try and fit the uh, back wall here into the passage tube, uh, the hull that also came with this issue. Um, because uh, the instructions say that you can actually do a test assembly at this point, and I wanna do this uh, and just check out how it looks. So uh, just hang on, guys. And that's it guys, it fits in pretty nicely and it looks extremely cool now. And again, now you really get a sense of the scale of this uh, build here. Was a bit flimsy in the end here, putting in the uh, deck of the cockpit. Again, because it's not glued or anything and it's just a bit difficult to find the proper s space here. But yeah, it fits in nicely st still. Uh, I only think we're missing one piece now and that's basically the uh, outer cone here of the cockpit and uh, we're actually getting that in issue 6. 
Um, although, in I think issue 40, they're actually going to send out a replacement cone because there are some inaccuracies with uh, the first initial cone that they provided. Um, but I've also heard that there are some in inaccuracies with the replacement cone, so it's basically down to your personal preference if you're gonna go with either the first or the second version or maybe even a third uh, custom version because there are also custom options available out there. Um, but this looks pretty cool guys and now we're really getting the sense of this fantastic build here. So um, let's just move uh, on now to issue 6 and have a look at what's inside the bag here. So let me just get thing, the things out of it and we'll have a closer look. Alright, so issue 6 is actually filled with small bits and pieces. And first and foremost we get the nose cone that I already mentioned here, the top and the bottom half. Then we get a plastic sprue here which contains a lot of small greeblies and kit bash. And this is actually going to fit on the exterior hull. And some of these parts, if not all of them, are going to fit on in this section here. Or just surrounding this tube. Um, then you get a smaller sprue, which is a silver finish. These are the small levers for the command console or dashboard of the cockpit. And then we get this bit here, which is supposed to be the surrounding area or the support for the seats in the hull. So you have the seats here, and then you have the, uh, the Jari playing table standing in the middle. I think I have it over here, like that. And then you get a linking ring for the cockpit. This is supposed to go around this area here, linking the nose and the tube together. Then you get uh, some interior wall for the cockpit as well. This is supposed to go up above the seats in this area here. And uh, these stickers are supposed to fit on as well on each side. So you have some details uh, for the computer consoles and all that. And these two small black bits here are actually going to be the base of this uh, ring here. So they're going to fit here. And the sticker is actually also going to fit on in part on these bits here. Now, that's basically it, guys. For the rest of this video, I think I'm going to do one thing, and that is to try and assemble the nose cone and just put it together with the tube, just to get a feel of what that looks like. Um, these interior parts here, I think they need to be glued eventually, so I think I'm just going to wait applying the stickers and all that until at a later time. So for now, I'm just going to store them together somewhere. Um, actually, I have a Ziploc bag bought like a thousand of these. I'm just gonna put them all in here. Uh, I try and store them as they come. So this would be issue, is this the, yeah. So this would be issue six. And I just keep them together in a bag like this in order to just be able to easily find them later on when I need them. But yeah, as I said, I'm gonna try and put on the nose cone now and just see I'll just get a feel of what that looks like. So hang on, guys. So that's it guys, um, it was again a bit fiddly but it fits on very tightly actually and that's actually also why it was a bit difficult, um, I had to try this a few times before I got it right. Um, but now you can see how it looks with the uh, initial, the first version of the uh, canopy or the nose cone here and I think it looks pretty cool actually um, but I'm cur curious uh, as to the new version of the cone. I'm looking forward to actually receiving it so I can do a comparison and evaluate which of the ones that I'm going to use. Now at this point I didn't install the interior ceiling of the cockpit and the, the last two side panels uh, because you can hardly even see them here. I just wanted to get an overall impression of the uh, exterior here along with some of the cockpit details on the inside. So that's basically it guys um, for this part uh, of my video series. 
I hope you enjoyed it. It's it's very uh, cool to having reached this point now where I have this final piece here. Uh, of course, this is all going to get repainted and everything in the future, but I'm gonna get back to that in a future video. Uh, but for now, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and share this experience with me. If you have any questions or comments or anything, go ahead and uh, leave them below. And uh, yeah, of course, also remember to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching and have a great day.